Welcome back. It's something it seems we all want more of. Time. One man has spent an entire lifetime repairing hands and making sure TikToks beat to the correct second. Suzanne Lawler chimes in to show you why this fella even makes house calls. Clock repairman Michael Osborne is always punctual. Let's take a look at this thing. Chris and Larry Hart say this grandfather clock has sentimental value. Larry gave it to Chris when she finished cancer treatments in 2003, and they were hard pressed to find anyone who would make house calls. I think it's wonderful. It's like a car, you gotta put oil in it every once in a while. Not making house calls, this is Mike's shop, a trailer behind his house, and of course, it is lined with clocks. You wouldn't expect anything else, right? Mike began his love affair with clocks at the age of 17. There's not many of us around. And Inside his den, it's a symphony of sounds measured by moments in time. The Navy veteran sees a steady stream of folks bringing in their treasured pieces so he can tinker with them at his desk. Well, most of the time is stripping them down and doing the bushing work. And cleaning is important, but it's the bushings that go bad on a clock. But it stretches farther than that. Time and time again, Michael will do more than bushings. He will bring back the clock no matter what it takes. His arm was missing. I had him to carve an arm. Had to make some barrels and logs. I'll polish them up, repaint them, and you know, make them look like a million dollars. This 70 year old says he's slowed down a bit. He doesn't do this as much as he used to, but the guy with clock clout will sometimes do as many as three house calls a week. I go to Dublin Eastman, I'd go as far as Columbus, uh, Douglasville, Thomaston, Milledgeville, Sandwichville, Edenton. He's keeping a timeless art alive making people happy and enjoying every second of his passion. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. How cool is that? Now, Osborne says he's also fixed mechanical toys, phonographs, and other stuff. His number one tip, if your clock is running slow or has stopped, do not, do not spray it with WD-40 oil. He says that can do more damage and it doesn't help at all. You can hear the soothing sounds of the many clocks in Osborne's workshop online at 13WMAZ.com.